Hey guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. And my furry feline Raven is somewhere asleep. I just got done doing laundry, moving a bunch of stuff around, moving plastic packages of yarn um, up here with me because I am here to do a birthday giveaway. Happy birthday to me, Yahoo. I'm another year older. I don't really feel it though, but um, I'm enjoying myself. I had a, a day off and I get to share all these yarn goodies with you. Everything. Um, Every bag of yarn here is strictly from Ice Yarns. I do have a bunch of accessories, all of which are from all over the place. And a couple of other goodies tucked back here that I'm going to be including. And um, But all the yarn is from Ice Yarns. You must be a subscriber um, to um, be able to be entered into the giveaway. And if you are outside of the United States... I'm going to mail you a smaller package. I will still mail you all of the yarn accessories and I'll probably send you a gift card to um, accommodate you for all the yarn that I can't send. But I, however, I will send you one package of yarn. All of these bags of yarn have a five digit lot number. So if you see one yarn in particular that you like, and this is for everyone outside of the United States, if you see one bag of yarn that you love the most, write that five digit lot number down and if you are drawn for the winner outside of the United States, I will include that single pack of yarn to you with all of the accessories. I will still mail you a package. It just won't be as big because shipping has gotten so high. Um, <clears throat> but I do have some other things here in this video I'm going to be spitballing and yabbing about. I do have um, a tip and a trick to show you guys as well. Um, I wanted to show you guys this blanket right here. This is just a plain... Granny Square, a lot of you have been commenting on this blanket. You zoom in a little bit, you guys can see it a little bit better. So this is pretty much just a Granny Square blanket worked around and around and around and around. And this yarn is Glowing Bee in the colorway Purple Multi. It's um, Yarn Bee. Yarn Bee Glowing Purple Multi is the colorway. I bought it from Hobby Lobby for like $5.49 a skein. They're, I think they're like four or five ounce skeins. They're real small, but the colors are gorgeous. This is a soft acrylic polyester blend. I think it's polyester, but it's, it's, it's not your average acrylic. It's got almost like a sheen to it. And these colors are just so bold and they're two color strands worked together for a marled effect. And then I just did a seven double crochet, single crochet shell stitch border, but what I did was, um, my tip for this is, you see how this corner, the colors are all blended in, and it just kind of works around one way. And then this one, you see that, that line of color, how it breaks right there. So this is from working in the round. You work in the round, and then joining, and then going back and working in the round that way. You only want to do that with solid colors. Um, when you make a solid granny square, um, because if otherwise, I mean, obviously doing it this way, it gives you a color block effect only on one corner of your blanket. And that's where I joined everything. I like to join in the corners because you can't see the seam as much as if you were joining on, on, in the middle somewhere. Um, so if you're working with a multicolored yarn, keep going around and around and around and around. That way your colors will stay blended on each corner. If you're working with a solid color, you won't notice a color block like this because obviously it's one color. It'll blend right in. So when you do a solid color, just go around one way, then you flip your work, and then you go back the other way, join, flip your work, and you just keep going back and forth. And that way, doing it that way, it keeps your blanket more even and more square and you know, it has better 90 degree angles that are perfect, perfectly square and mitered. Whereas if you just keep going around and around and around and around, your blanket kind of like lopsides a little bit and, 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 and it kind of curls a little bit one way and maybe like one side of your granny square will be longer than the other or something, you know, and it's easier to miss stitches that way. Um, but using a chunky, this is like, a, it's classified as a four weight yarn, but it's on the chunky side. Um, and chunkier yarns are... I think are much better when you when you work around and around and around and around and, and around and because of the shell border um, and because I, I literally keep it on my couch I keep it folded in half 
I keep it folded in quarters over my rocking chair. And then, of course, I do use it. I do use it for a lap blanket here on the couch all the time. But when I'm not using it, I keep it folded in half. And because it's a chunky yarn, you can't notice the sway and the shift um, of the blanket as much, um, mainly because it's a chunkier yarn. So I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so let's get on with what I have in the, in the birthday giveaway. So I, I said I was including ice yarns. The first pack I'm including is 66056. This is a beautiful acrylic yarn. It is called Baby Lollipop. This is great for, for baby stuff. And let's see here. There are always babies being born. And this would even just make a neutral cardigan. If you want to make like a granny square cardigan or a v-neck, like, or I mean like a v-stitch cardigan, this would be good. You could wear it to the beach, to the lake or something. And again, this is 100% acrylic. It's 100 gram skeins. You get four skeins in here. They are, one, uh, excuse me, 360 meters per skein, and they are classified as a two-weight yarn. You're more than welcome to double this up if you need to thicken the yarn up. But this two-weight yarn would be perfect if you have a knitting, knitting loom. You can make a hat and scarf set, or you can make panels and make a lap blanket and sew them together, or you can just crochet, knit, knit up whatever you want. I thought this was a neutral color that you could blend in with anything, even if you have pink like a fuchsia pink or royal blue, you can work in with this. These are gorgeous little speckles of color throughout. It's baby lollipop. I'm including this gorgeous colorway. This is also classified as a two weight yarn. This is 69551 Softly Baby Fine. This is in the colorway Water Green. I'm in love with this color. Like this, like like antique pink mauve. This color goes gorgeous with it. If you have like a mauve or a pink and a beige, blend these in. This would make a beautiful, beautiful blade baby blanket for for a boy. I've got tons and tons of blue yarn, so this is just spare yarn I don't need because I actually bought two packs of this. Um, this is 55% acrylic, 45% polyamide. Polyamide to me is much softer than polyester. It makes things so luxuriously butter soft. If you have not worked with polyamide in your acrylics, I highly recommend you find some. Get some if you can afford it. That's another reason why I'm including this in the giveaway because polyamide, it's, it's like butter. It's like working with butter. It's so easy to work up and it doesn't split and it's just so soft and squishy and you, you just want to lay your face on it all the time. Uh, this is, well, these are also 100 gram skeins, 300, these are 330 meters. And then, I am including six, got a fuzz on my nose, six cakes of Excel Summer Beige 55106. This is just um, a, a pack of yarn that was literally $1.99. For six of these and this is something neutral that you can use my first thought was crocheting beautiful shell borders on your kitchen towels or maybe some face cloths as this is 100 cotton you can even crochet doilies with this or you can you can crochet edgings around your your table your your, your table mats or your charger plates um if they're if they're fabric and you, you can crochet through them um, you can also make like a like a, like a lace shawl to wear over like an evening gown, or you could um, crochet like a like a like a garden like a little cardigan to wear over your garden dress or something. There's so many different things you can do with this yarn. But let me tell you about it. It's again sell summer. They're 50 gram cakes, 250 meters, 70 cent, 70 percent cotton. 30% viscose, so it's a, it's a summer yarn, hence the name Sell Summer, and the colorway beige, and I think this is a gorgeous color. It has a sheen to it, and I don't know, I just think it's beautiful, and if you wanted to, you could blend this in with yarn and make baskets too. You could make beautiful little baskets for your, for your bathroom, that'd be, that'd be really cute. I'm including some macaroon yarn. This is the last colorway they had left of a macaroon. 
68373 is the lot number. They come in a pack of eight, but I have six balls here I will be including. As I had to, I had to sneak a couple of balls of this out so I could have a couple of myself so I can make some four-leaf clovers. And I could um, make some greenery flowers and maybe I might crochet a bud leaf. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Um, this is one of my favorite yarns to work with. It is so luxuriously soft. I will grab one of the balls that I've taken out and show you. I think it's so gorgeous. I have a, I'm expecting a delivery guy, so I may have to get up and answer the door. Um, but I am expecting a package of something for my birthday. Macaroon. Let me see if I can find this ball band has nothing on its label. UPS is literally, I may have to get up guys. I can see him out my window. UPS truck just pulled up. He's not walking towards my building. I think we're cool right now. 50% acrylic, 47% polyamide, 3% elastin, 50 gram donuts, 100 meters. They classify this as a three weight, but it is a chunky three weight, extremely close to a four. This is like working with butter. It does have a halo. A little bit of a halo, but it is it is so gorgeous, so so I love I love working with this. Um, it's so soft and squishy, and it's got all that. It's got three percent elastin in it, which helps your stitches um, stay more defined, and it, it keeps your garment more in shape. Your stitches pretty much bounce back, and they stay where you want them to, and they stay in shape. So. Um, gotta, gotta have some macaroon yarn. If I have any left over, I will include a couple of balls of, of white. I, I doubt it because I've been using the heck out of it and I barely have any left. But, um, if I find any spare, spare balls of this in white, I will include that. Uh, let's see. What else did I not show you? Gotta have a donut. They are selling these on ice yarns. 73929. Excuse me, guys. That's my delivery. Hang on, guys. Hi. Eight or nine, right? Yes. Thank you. Uh, what's the name of the person? Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. This is why I like this flower and something fresh. So yeah. Thank you. you. Have yeah. Thank you so much. Nice. You too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this guys. I just got a really special delivery for my birthday. I think this is food from Whole Foods. Oh my gosh. And then I got some roses. Look what I got. It has been forever since I've gotten flowers. I know exactly who these are from. Hi, M. Thank you so much for the flowers. Last time I mentioned M, I asked for um, people and my friends here to, to pray for her because she's going through um, some lung issues. They gave her this little pickle thingy that she breathes through, and when she exhales and, and, and breathes through it, it vibrates her lungs, and it, and it, and it gets her to, to cough up chunks and stuff. Um, it, it's like she's got bronchitis and pneumonia and it's never ending and she, she said she's had it since November I think I don't know it things have been off and on with her but um, just please continue to pray for her but she was so thoughtful to send me these flowers on my birthday thank you so much Em so I'm gonna wrap this video up and and take care of those flowers and put the food up um, let's get through this quickly um, somewhat quickly so I showed you the macaroon yarn I'm sending you and I'm gonna send you a donut this is actually um, the same colorway as red heart ogo yarn and the jewel tones this is pretty much pretty much the exact same thing ice yarns manufactures red heart yarn I mean obviously you get this from ice yarns and you get the exact same donut exact same colorway from red heart ogo hello <laughs> but I'm gonna include one donut and I'm including another donut um, and, a, and another yarn box for a friend I'm, I'm sending over to her. And this yarn. I love this yarn. This is a clearance, closeout clearance yarn. 
It's called Gina Visco, slot number 62756. This is the colorway light gray with some speckles of like a sheen white to it. It's 35% viscose, 65% acrylic. They're 50 gram skeins, 150 meters each. This is classified as a two weight yarn. I like to work with this yarn, two strands, two balls at a time, and I like to make Ruana ponchos with this. Candy at Blue Art Style had a very similar yarn, not this exact one, but also in a different colorway. It was beige, mostly beige with black, and she made a beautiful Ruana poncho. This is a summer type yarn. Summer's coming up. So maybe you want to make um, a poncho to wear over your swimsuit. Or you can you can make a bag if you want to. You can make a beach bag out of this. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. There's viscose in it, and that's the white part. And the acrylic is, is, is the gray part. And the, the type of acrylic it is is a roving style acrylic, if you're familiar with that. Roving style acrylics are found in Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, Lion Brand Landscapes. It's not, it doesn't have a twist to it. It's just kind of like loosely twisted. Um, but this has a beautiful white strand of viscose twisted around it. And it's really soft to work with and it's gorgeous worked up. I'm including some Alaire Batik. If you guys have seen my videos previously, I mentioned I was going to split this package in half and include some purple. And these are light purples, um, light rose. Um, you, you could classify it as a mauve color. It's maybe like a tinge darker than a mauve. But these two colors, I think, blend really, really nicely with this Alaire Batik. And the Alaire Batik lot number is 73008. Ah, 73008 was the zip code that I grew up in as a child. That's pretty cool. Screenshot. That's cool. That's, that's my zip code growing up. But that's the lot number, and I think this yarn is gorgeous. I made a business card holder out of the Alaire Batik, so you can get an idea of how that yarn works up. And I think these colors would look gorgeous together with it. Very gorgeous. This is a three-weight yarn, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. It is so luxuriously soft. It does not split at all. It works like butter. I used a four millimeter hook with this or did I use a 3.5 let me look at my notes I took some notes for this because I wrote a small pattern out for the business card holder but I have to finesse it the stitches on the outside edges are not even I used a 3.5 millimeter hook with this yarn to get to get tighter stitches 3.5 millimeter hook and this is a three weight yarn if you want looser stitches for like a summer garment, you can go up to a five millimeter with this. And then, speaking of pink and purple, I'm including a pack of eight donuts of this gorgeous yarn. This looks very close, very similar to the Rosetta yarn from Smiley's Yarns. And if you're familiar with uh, Glenda from Creative Grandma, she actually did a giveaway last year. It was a pack of ten that Smiley's Yarn sent her for a giveaway to support her channel, which I loved. I fell in love with the yarn once I saw it on her screen, and I knew I could get the same yarn from Ice Yarns. And here's the lot number, seven, here's the lot number, 64214, Rosetta Pink Shades Lavender Shades, the L's cut off, because, you know, there's only so much room on the label. It's Pink Shades Lavender Shades, gorgeous. You get eight donuts in a pack. This is a 3 DK weight. It is a, looks like a roving style, but it does have a twisted effect with like a lighter color mixed in. So it almost has like a marled effect. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, let's see, I didn't want to open this back up and mess with the yarn. 30% wool, 70% acrylic. They're 50 gram donuts, 200 meters, three weight yarn. So three, six, nine, 12. You get 2,400 meters in this entire pack. So does, you've got a lot to work with. You can make a gorgeous blanket. You can make blankets for twin girls. You can make, you can make two dresses for twin girls. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You can just make a big fat granny square blanket. That'd be gorgeous. A cardigan. Making a bunch of granny squares and putting a cardigan together. 
a summer cardigan. That would be gorgeous. All right, and then I still have more yarn in here to sh um, for you guys. I mentioned in one of my previous videos I was going to include this yarn for a wasp nest. Now here's the tip on wasp nest. Wasp, wasps are territorial. If they see a home built somewhere, they will go and they will build somewhere else. So I took yarn in these neutral colors. I have one. It, it only took me not even half of one of these little skeins. Not even half of one of these to make one little wasp nest. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. The Cell Summer Yarn, which they don't have anymore on ice yarns. They don't have either of these on ice yarns. But the lot number was 67904 on these. I'm surprised there's one on the ball band because there's not a lot number on this one. Um, but, but they're both Cell Summer Yarns. Uh, let's see, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic for both of them. Uh, this one's called Ecru. This one's, this one doesn't have a colorway, but it looks like a coffee or like a taupe. You could call it, um, like, like you could call it taupe if you want to, just taupe and Ecru. Whatever brown color you see fit to call this name. I'm just going to stick with taupe. And then the ecru. The ecru is soft, and it has a tighter spin on it. And the and the taupe one is a looser. It's a looser twist. But anyways, I didn't even use half of one of these um, to make one wasp nest. It doesn't. It's not telling me how many yards or meters is on here. Oh, okay, 125 meters on on one skein. And this one, it's everything's cut off. This one's not telling me, but I would say there's at least, at least, there's at least 80 meters, at least 80 meters. I don't, I don't know. It's not, doesn't say on the ball band. These are what I say, 125 meters. Yep. Okay. So anyways, I used about half of one of these to make a wasp nest and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle or a perfect oval or a perfect, a, it doesn't have to be a perfect egg or any round shape. Every wasp nest is, is made um, naturally different. It's like a fingerprint. It's like a signature. No one has the same one. You're not going to write down your signature the exact same way exactly every single time. It's not humanly possible. So I winged it. I crocheted a, a circle. I, I did like a magic circle thing. I closed up the end and I left a long tail, a long tail. Crochet, you can start with crocheting like 30, crochet 30. And then in the very last chain, work up like work up like ten double crochets in the third chain from your hook, and make a circle and close that off and just go around and around and around. Leave that long tail that you crocheted away, and just go around and around and around. And then I increased when I wanted it to make it a little bit bigger, and then when it, when I felt it was wide enough. I crocheted around and around a few times and I started decreasing. Um, I just kind of winged it. If you want to follow a pattern, if you need to follow a pattern, feel free to do that. You do whatever's comfortable for you. But when making wasp nest, my main point is you don't need a pattern because they are all uniquely different, made by nature. And as long as you have it hanging by your front door, by your back door, your side door, your patio door, whatever outside door you've got hanging up and it will keep all the wasps in a away and they will not build um, at your door. They'll go somewhere else and build. So that's why I'm including these in here. You don't have to use them for wasp nests. You can use them for kitchen towels if you want to. You should use them for whatever you want. Um, but those are great for wasp nests. The last pack of yarn I'm showing, I showed those three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Yeah, I've got more yarn. Okay. I'm including six donuts of this cell metallic teal. This is literally three dollars on ice yarns. Whenever I put like a whole bunch of packs of yarn in my cart, they're like seven dollars a pack or they're ten dollars a pack or they're fifteen dollars a pack. Go to the closeout sections and I find a whole bunch that I like for under three dollars, under four dollars a pack. This one was two ninety nine. And it is it's a winter yarn, but it's a thin weight and it's so gorgeous. Um I'm these come in a pack of eight. I'm including six. I want to send a couple of these to a friend. 
because she was oogling this in a video one day and um, she's going through a hard time and um, I'm asking people to pray for her so I think this would be nice to send to her the beautiful teal it does have a halo it's a little on the fuzzy side and the metallics in there are multi different colors so so gorgeous I hope you guys can see that so gorgeous um, this yarn is again 72101 and it is 50 they're 50 gram donuts 150 meters 10% wool 10% metallic ly lyrics 20% polyester 80% acrylic because this is only 10% wool this can be machine washed but I would do it on a gentle cycle with cold water and then I would spin you can spin dry this without heat and then lay it flat to, to dry or you could roll you could roll it up in a towel any anything like this you don't want to twist because it'll it'll damage your stitches and it'll damage your work um, I usually if I don't have a spin dry tub what I used to do is I would literally lay a towel out lay my crocheted garment on it I would roll it up and I would step on it I'm like plus 200 pounds so pushing my weight on a towel underneath my feet it was very very helpful in wringing out water so um, that's what I did now I have the spin dry tub it gets things 90% dry and then I just kinda hang things up or lay them out on the bed or over a towel on the floor um, but these are gorgeous and they are so soft in my personal opinion if you have yarn that's more than 15% wool I highly recommend hand washing that or doing a very short five minute gentle cycle in the cold wash um, and then drying like I mentioned previously there's one more package of yarn guys and then I'll get to the accessories this one four six nine six seven is the lot number this is called favorite magic and it lists a few colors that are in here like beige purples blues gorgeous colors look at this very very gorgeous use for spring and summer I'm including this entire package this is how they come at ice yarns and I think this would be gorgeous and fun for you guys for the winter to work up something gorgeous like maybe some granny squares a granny square cardigan or a beautiful blanket um, this would work up in a beautiful striped pattern and um, well, let me tell you about the yarn I, I thought I heard a noise to do 100% acrylic 100 gram skeins you get four in a pack so you got 400 grams 210 meters so two four six eight eight hundred forty meters it's a four weight yarn of course it's just your classic 100% worsted weight yarn easily washable and dryable have fun now the accessories I'm including a brand new folder with pockets and prongs and some grid paper some of us crafters like this grid paper for designing projects all of this yarn you have options here this is good paper for designing projects and the grid paper helps you with straight lines and maybe doing some checkered patterns you name it go on YouTube or do a Google search I'm designing designing crochet patterns with grid paper it's so fun to do that you got colored pencils bust them out um, if your kids need this for school you can give it to your kids and you got a brand new folder you can put this in your folder if you want to and use it for all your crochet projects and your notes um, so I'm including that I am including this book a to Z crochet the ultimate guide for the beginner to advanced crocheter so this book can be for everybody and I love the fact that it has pictures of all the stitches that they show you how to do here's everything you've ever wanted to know about crochet this indispensable reference will guide you through everything from beginners basics through stitches and techniques for every shape and texture imaginable with step-by-step -step instructions and close-up photos there's no easier way to learn to crochet so it literally just has a whole bunch of useful pictures and tools and graphics literally on every single page I think you guys would like it and it even has a flap so you can use that as a bookmark and there's a reference guide in the back and an index 
I'm also including another set. I have another set of these of these pamphlets, pamphlets, pamphlet patterns that are from the craft store, like like Michaels or Hobby Lobby stores like that that have these dangling on the yarn aisles for free. So there's like either 19 or 20 patterns of all different things in here. There might be one or two that's that's a knitting pattern, and those will be inside the red folder. And then I'm including. <clears throat> I'm including a bag. I ordered like a whole bunch of these from Amazon. I'm including a project bag. So this is big enough to put your magazine. If you have a crochet magazine in here, some legal documents you want to you want to put in here. This is waterproof, easily zips open and zips closed. This will be included. I will have all of your accessories tucked inside this bag when it arrives to you in your box, and all the accessories I will be including are in this bag and I have another accessory I ordered a whole bunch of these from Hirschner's they're only like 50 cents I love these these are great for stencils not only for gauging what size knitting needle you're using or if you have a crochet hook that hasn't that doesn't your favorite crochet hook lost its measurement size marking on it and like I you know it's got a measuring tool you know a good reference heart shape so this is a really really fun accessory to have in your arsenal I keep mine and my little clear pouch. You can see it there. I am including, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, a crochet hook set. These are very similar to the um, to the set that I learned off of. This is loops and threads. They are tapered hooks. They are metal. They have pointy tips that can go into your stitches. They are colorful and fun. They work To me, they work like butter. I love working with them. And if you need a more of an ergonomic handle, get some pencil grips and you can put pencil grips on these. So there's another little tip for you. I gotta have a pair of scissors. I love these. I keep these in all my stash bags and all my project bags. Um, like any bags like these with scissors and um, stitch markers in them, I throw one of these in before I walk out the door. Whatever project I want to grab, from my basket, I grab one and then I grab, this is on my coffee table pretty much right here on the couch with me. I grab this, I grab something else similar, I grab my scissors, and I throw those in with my project bag before I walk out the door. Darning needles. These are great. Um, these are, some of them are curved, some of them are longer. I got these, not in the crochet aisle, I got these from the, uh, the sewing accessories and the sewing notions. That's where you can find these. So if you're doing amigurumi, if you're doing doll, um, doll amigurumi, and you need <clears throat> you need to go from one side of the doll to the other, or you know just whatever, these are great. They're sharp, so be careful using them. Um, but some of these eyes are big enough you can get yarn through them, like this one in particular, and this one here. This is your typical darning needle right here for your basic four weight yarns, five weight yarns, six weight yarns. Is this one right here? This one's got a bent tip, which works very well for stitch weaving. So these two larger hooks are your friends. And then if you want a smaller one, this is your typical medium sized one for darning. But again, these are sharp and they will help you weave in your ends um, more secure. I grew up using these puzzles. This is, this is a birthday puzzle. One of my favorite birthday puzzles I've ever gotten. IQ block. These are very hard to find. A lot of websites are sold out right now. Um, I grew up as a kid playing these. You pretty much have 10 blocks of all different shapes in one square and you have more than 60 different combinations of how to put the blocks together. Take a screenshot if you like the information. I bought these on Amazon years ago. But these are great if you've got kids in the house, if you have grandkids that come over. You know, this is great for kids. Um, let's see. Three years, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years. It says so right there. So three three years of age and up. So this is great. And you keep this stash in your house somewhere and bust it out when your grandkids come over um, or whatever. And um, I love these. I have a whole bunch of these. I wanted to put like four of these together and try to make it even more challenging because I've pretty much mastered this puzzle. And by putting four of these together and trying to put... 40 blocks in a combination that makes an even square. That'd be a challenge I'd love to I'd love to tackle. 
I gotta have a bamboo hook included. I love these bamboo hooks. They're so smooth and nice to work with. And there are a lot of two weight yarns in here, not to mention this Cell Summer yarn that's a thin weight. I think this is actually a one weight yarn. This bamboo hook would, would work nice with it. This is a, this is actually just a five millimeter bamboo hook. So it might be a little big for that Cell Summer yarn, but if you double it up or something, um, but it's gorgeous. And let's see here. You do have a uh, as as you do have as low as a 3.5 millimeter in this hook set, so you'll have something you can work with the yarn with. This is from Lovecrafts. I think I ordered this from Lovecrafts. If not, I ordered this from Hirschner's. I'm not really sure, but I've had it in my um, I've had it in my giveaway box for months, waiting for a good box um, giveaway to put it in. I'm dropping stitch up markers and stuff and crochet hooks. I'm including a little package of stitch markers. I love these because they look like safety pins and they're plastic, but they are very, very, very sharp. And they can they work well for like chunky, chunkier yarns, like four weight and up. Of course you can use these with smaller thread weight yarns too. But they're sharp, so even if you have trouble poking your stitch markers into your yarn, you can still jab these in here. And there's a finger guide. These finger guides work really well, and I've had it brand new. I just, I don't use it. Um, I have another finger guide that I use most often. It's it's a metal one, but this one is fun because you can lift this open and you can put your yarn strand through whichever spacing you want to. And of course this, you can wear this on whatever finger you want. It is adjustable and it is bendable a little bit. And I'm also including some flower stitch markers. I got these for free in a crochet magazine that I've already given away. Um, I took out all the accessories and I kept one accessory for myself and I gave one accessory away in the giveaway with the magazine and then I thought I was going to use these because I, I really loved um, them at the time. But And I wanted to keep them and use them but these, these clasp openings are really really hard for my fat fingers to open up and use. But there are a lot of people that like these clasps. So I'm hoping the re recipient in the giveaway winner um, box would like, to, would like to use these. I mean, I would love to use them. They're just, my fingers are too fat to open those clasps. But otherwise, I love these stitch markers. They're adorable. And um, you can use them in your project. I'm also including some mints. I bought a whole bunch of these from my one of my favorite gas stations. I love this. This is um, sugar-free fruit mints in the flavor peach strawberry. I eat these like candy. They're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Oh my gosh. I think I might have another one in the previous giveaway box that I did. And then I'm including some tea. A couple bags of tea. So maybe you and your friend, maybe you and your husband would, would like to try it. Or maybe you and your child would like, would like to try it. Um, this is organic. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's for immune function. Uh, it promotes immune function. It's in the flavor original spearmint. And spearmint is actually also good to help tame your stomach muscles and relax your stomach muscles so that you don't have as much of a tummy ache. Mint is really good to relax your stomach muscles. So all of these accessories and that little red heart stencil, um, stencil slash hook, gauge, size, thingamajigger, Bob, whatever it's called. I got a thingamajigger for your whatchamacallit, but I forgot what size your doomahickey was. Did you guys get the picture? <laughs> so all of these will be included um, with the yarn and everything. And again, like I said, if you are outside of the United, United States and you get picked in the drawing, I will send you one pack of this yarn with, with the crochet patterns and the book and the graph paper and all the accessories I just showed you. I just will only be able to send you one pack of yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to everyone in the, in, the, in the giveaway. Make sure you are subscribed. Your entry for the giveaway is to leave one comment. Leave a comment saying what you would make with any of these yarns. What would you make with any of the yarns that I showed you? And tell me what your favorite one is out of the five-digit lot numbers. Um, and uh, good luck. Don't reply to anyone else's comment because that voids your entry for the giveaway. Make sure you leave an original comment. And I love you guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.